Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's go over the steps that we need to take in order to solve a linear inequality in two variables. So, what are the steps? Well, first of all, we take the expression that we have, and if it's not already in this form, we should first put it in that form. Like the y equals mx plus b form, except instead of having an equal sign there, we'll have a greater than or less than symbol there. So, what do we do here? First of all, move the minus x to the other side, becomes plus x, so we have 2y greater than or equal to x plus 6, and then if we divide both sides by 2, divide the left side by 2, divide the right side by 2, we get y is less than or equal to 1 half x plus 3. So there is the very same expression, just simply in a different format. Now, step number two, we need to find the boundary of the boundary line of our, of our region, right? So either it's on the left side or the right side or the top or the bottom side of the boundary. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change our inequality symbol to an equal sign from there to there. So to turn the inequality expression into a linear expression, into a, an expression equation of a line. So we're going to change this into an equal sign. So we end up with y is equal to 1 half x plus 3, which gives us the boundary line. And then we're told to graph that line. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's our graph. Uh, there's our y-axis, our x-axis. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And our y-intercept is 3, so that's right here. And we can see the slope is plus 1 half. That means we have a run of 2 and a rise of 1, a run of 2 and a rise of 1. So the line looks like this. And the reason why we drew a solid line, and that's point number 3, if we have the equal symbol as well as the greater than or smaller than symbol in our inequality expression. And in this case, we do. It's both greater than or equal to, so we have a solid line instead of a dashed line. That means the points on the line are included in the solution set. Now we have two regions. So let's call this region 1 and let's call this region 2. It doesn't matter which way you call it. And then the next step is pick a test point from one of the two regions and then test the inequality. And I always like to pick the easy point. I like to pick the point 0, 0 if it's available. So here's the point 0, 0, and we're told to go ahead and do the test. So we take our symbol right here, our, our expression, y is greater than or equal to 1 half x plus 3, and we're going to test to see if the point that we picked lies in the region that satisfies inequality. So we're going to replace x and y by 0 and 0. So we have 0 greater than or equal to 1 half times 0 plus 3, question mark, because we don't know if that's true, we're just testing it. And notice if we simplify that, is 0 greater than or equal to 3, question mark, and of course the answer is no. Since the answer is no, I pick the point in the region that does not satisfy the inequality. This region does not satisfy the inequality. I like to put an x in it saying it does not satisfy the inequality, which means the other region does. And so I indicate that by drawing arrows like this, or sometimes we simply can just go ahead and shade that area, which means the shaded area is the area that satisfied the inequality. The solid line includes all the points on the line. So, Point number five, shade the region that satisfies inequality, just like we did over here, which means this one does not, and this region does satisfy the inequality. And so that's how you go through those five steps to find the solution, or the region, where all the points in the region satisfy the inequality. And that is how it's done. Okay, that's good. What's next?